그렇죠. 
They, right. they put four little perfect holes there for oh, me. Yeah, nice. And tuck them up in through there away from the heat. I might, the oil curler might have to run over the top. No, there's yeah. a big gap at the back there, the motor. It's huge. That could, could have come oh, out. Oh, yeah, and then go along there. Come up along there. Yeah, that'll work. Gotta put the old motor back on. So there's not much much left to do. Um, building an exhaust, is that part of it? Yeah, I think the exhaust might be next. That way we can do exhaust, sort out this fuel tank situation. Someone's on a fire. That's good. Sort out this fuel tank situation we got going on, hand up. Yeah, it's had a modification, this one. <coughs> so fuel tank, that. Build the exhaust. We're only coming to the diff with the exhaust. That's good, because I don't know if you've ever built an exhaust for a Commodore. And, and threes just in here. There's one of our threes. We're just going to leave this one. <laughs> and then we'll start a new one about here. So we just got to join that to that. Is this, that's two and a quarter, isn't it? I don't know what that is. That's, that's no, that's, that's not two and a quarter. Oh, I don't know. It's hard to tell. I only play with four and stuff now, so. You only play with four inches? Yeah. That's good. That's where Reese <laughs> is happy. <laughs> Maybe make a little inspection cover to. I don't think that's. I don't think that's two and a half. I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get them yeah. So they are two and a quarter. I think you might have to take the gearbox off to jack the gearbox back up to get that space back again. Like undo these bolts up to the hump time, and then jack Push that up. up to the floor. Yeah, and pick enough room to get the rack back in. Yeah, look. I think you're right because it's not going in that way. But I need to get them converter bolts and get that bolted in first. What are you going to do first? Converter bolts and then rack, or just leave it here? I should be able to get converter bolts. Just because you can't push it like this. Bunnies. Who's going to have these? Did we work out what they were? No, we don't got nothing to compare. Oh, yeah, we do. What about Ford standard converter bolts? Where did they? Over in that gearbox. Because we know they're metric fine. But like I said, that's pretty close together. These are way bigger. Yeah, oh, that's not good to us. I'll keep trying just so that we know. <laughs> just keep going. Try again. Maybe turn it around. <laughs> no, it's a little bit. Oh, There's a breather up there, but we won't. We might just put a bit of pipe on it and run him out the back there away from the exhaust so they don't catch fire. What, no fires? Usually it's the shifter cable that melts on these, eh? Well, it's everything. Yeah. Yeah. Once your car's on fire, pretty much everything melts. Well, yeah. That's, yeah, good theory. So, I'd say, eh? So, you need to do speedo cable. You need to work that out. Oh, you can get one of those power tune dashes. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I'm just saying, what goes on there? How does that work? I think they're GPS, aren't they? I guess. Pretty yeah. sure they're. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure they are, yeah. You're right. Yeah. Because then that'll solve everything. We don't have to worry about TACO. Because like it, it plugs into the fucking OBD port, right? Yeah. So that'll sort all the motor out, and then we don't have to worry about the VL dash at all because it's hideous anyway. Hmm. And um, GPS speedo, taco, oil pressure, water temp, all that bullshit will be on the on the thing. Don't worry about trans temps, you tell that full item, mate, you won't get on it. We should put the C4 in this and keep that for <laughs> Well, the bow housing was already broken, so here it was really well. You just had to cut the rest of it off. So, as with every project, it's going to be the small, stupid things that slows it down now. Got to get some those bolts and this and that, order some exhaust parts. Yeah, I've tried to do the exhaust. What mufflers are going to use some? I think of those cunts we used on... Um, China mufflers? Yeah, used on the... the Chinese hookers. Uh, I'll see. See if we can get some packed ones, because I think that's going to sound... Yeah, I'd more. go the packed ones. I don't think an LS needs to have too much exhaust on it. Yeah. Maybe. Try to get some packed ones. Cheap. Make it sound okay. But we'll go threes anyway, so it'll help it a little bit. 
Stop from saying like bubbles. Bubbles. <laughs> bubbles. Hit the cup with the glass. <laughs> <laughs> Not bubbles. Fucking spit in a tire and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Come over and shake it fucking easy. Here's a cracker. Yeah, so pretty much done, eh? Yeah. So that'll be your, that's the update for your LS VL. Using the rod shop kit. What about the crooked motor? What are we going to do about the motor leaning over? It started off good. I was, I was pretty happy with you think it just needs a couple of burnouts? Oh, I reckon it'll sort itself out. Fair enough. Can't really do much with what you what you supplied with. Yeah, with the self-leveling system. You sort of see it in the headers as well, that header on the passenger side's down a bit further. Yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. <sighs> well, you can't remake the whole kit, otherwise you should have done it yourself. Yeah. I reckon it's all right. It's all right for what we're gonna do here. All right, that'll be it then, eh? Yeah. Had enough talking? That's all we can do, really. So I guess the next one, with the VL, we'll see an exhaust, maybe? We'll see flames. Where are you going to start up with no exhaust? Exhaust is the next thing, right? Or what's next? Yeah, we'll do exhaust, trans cooler, dipstick, shifter. Maybe we might, we might try and get better. a shifter. Pull the motor back out, put that rack in. Fuel, <laughs> fuel line. Um... Converter, yeah. Wait for a tail shaft. Wait for the tail shaft. Hopefully the tail shaft takes ages. That'll be... <laughs> well, that'll be, that that'll be one piece, because this had a two piece in it. This is going to be a one piece custom jobby. From the turbo to the stock VL Borgie. This is 345 ratio, so this should be alright. Yeah, you should do a good, do a good one wheel appealer. Go and do a pegger. Yeah, that, that is what you call open center. <laughs> it doesn't get more open center than that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Might be broken. <laughs> All right. So I can't even push this back in. No, nah, it's got to stay here unless you put the rack back in. Bugger. Means you're not going to get the converter bolts back in. Bugger. Catch 22, really. When are you getting the bolts? You can get them tomorrow. Oh, I should have got them today. Go get them today. Oh, nothing will be over. But when? No, no, it'll be shut, won't it? Yeah, they shut at midday. Oh. Uh, do they? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and that's, that's fucked you then. That's the end of that. <laughs>